What is going on everybody? Matta222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Power Rangers Legacy Red Dino Thunder Ranger figure. So taking a quick look at the packaging, you can see the build a Megazord right there. Nice shot of the Red Dino Ranger right there. And of course, just Dino Thunder. Nothing really on the side. On the back, you can see like you can see what the completed Megazord looks like with the Rangers required to complete said Megazord. There are the other Rangers available in this series. So, uh, I have these four. I don't have the yellow Zeo Ranger yet. Uh, I, I don't think she's even out yet. But uh, I do have everything else in this wave. Sorry, guys. And again, on the same on the top, it's got the Red Lightning, Power Rangers, Dino Thunder, and just warnings and barcode on the bottom. So with that, we are going to take a quick look, get this guy out of the package, and, well, like I said, take a quick look. <sighs> Alright guys, so looking at, now we have Red Ranger, the Red Dino Ranger out of the package. Taking a closer look, I just want to say right off the bat, not a fan of this figure, man. I'm really starting to sour on this line, but I'll get into that. So, starting off, the helmet looks pretty good. I mean, to be fair, it looks nice. It's it's hard to say it looks great, because, I mean, it's just, it's just a helmet with the black line. But it does look good. I like the detail on the logo. Paint is all clean. So that is nice, and the paint going up and down, all the white diamonds, looks pretty good too. So not any issues, not so much any issues in the paint. And then the boots are just plain red boots. Belt is pretty standard, I mean, I mean it's a belt, it's pretty standard. And he's got the gold, gold wrist guards, wrist rings, whatever you want to call them. Now, I, I like, here, here's here's my first dislike. I like that they added the added detail of having the morpher there. So you can see the detail on it is really good. Looks really nice. You can see all the lines. You can see the shape very clearly, but I, I wish if they were going to slap the morpher there, I feel like they should have threw some paint on it. But, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to try to... I'm not going to harp on the littlest thing, but could have threw some paint on there. It would have been a lot better. Now, here's another thing I don't like. First of all, the blaster looks good. I I don't remember wa watching this season. I, I do remember watching it, but I wasn't like super into this season until, until Tommy became a ranger. But I still don't really remember if the blaster looks like this. To me, this looks like just a repaint of the Astro Blaster. From the Space Rangers with slight modifications, but I could be wrong, but it looks nice. I mean, the two tips are gold and then the silver blade. No, it's not so much a blade, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, guys. Looks good. It's got the Dino the Dino Thunder logo there. Here's, here's what is annoying. So this piece is removable, which I guess is good. The way you have to basically insert the morpher... Or the the blasters basically that is just like that no clip nothing to secure it no, no that is just like that and then you just basically put the morpher like that and then it holds it which it doesn't do a very good job you see what i mean the thing is so open that it won't stay shut. There's no way to make it shut. And it's not like you could glue it. Because then you'll never be able to get the blaster out. Uh, like what the f... Oh man, what the hell is that? There is not a better way they could have done that. That is just so, that is just shit to me. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry, that is just shit. That is just the dumbest damn thing I've ever seen. They could have put a little clip. Uh, or a little snap. Just to have you snap it together. Just so it would stay in place. Like, look at that. You can see the line. How is it supposed to have the blaster there? I don't want to display him holding the blaster. But I'm telling you guys now. 
I, I am a time traveler. I'm looking into the future. I'm telling you the future. I'm going to tons of times. I'm going to go in the dark room and find the blaster had fallen out and I'm going to lose it. That is what's going to happen because this is the dumbest damn idea. Are you freaking kidding me, Bandai? Are you freaking kidding me? Garbage. Wow. Getting into his articulation is pretty substandard, but they they shit the bed big time. Head moves side to side. You get a good range of up and down. So nice movement on the head. Shoulder moves up to about here. You get the full rotation. It moves in this far. So you can somewhat get a good shoulder rotation. Getting into the elbows. He has a double jointed elbow. Which again is nice. You get that extra articulation. But it's so soft. Guys you can see that it's starting to separate. Guys look at that gap. What the hell is that? It's so soft it feels like they use such a cheap plastic not like this on this side but look at that gap Ugh, that's just the worst man the worst into his torso he's got the ab crunch i do like however that they continue to paint the logo so if you have it down uh, it cuts it off a little bit but it's not so bad like if you move it up it looks still good no matter how you do it, it looks good. So I'll give them that. Very nice job there. Very happy that they did that. But nice. And he's got, of course, waist twist. Hips move out to here. He can kick this far forward. And got this weird back angle kick. No thigh swivel. Again, double jointed knee. Great range of motion. So I, I, will, I will give him that. The legs are pretty nice. And then he, of course, has ankle rockers. And they hinge forward and back. But again, even on the ankles, the, it, the plastic feels so stiff that he has such a hard time standing. It's, like, it's almost like he can't support his own weight. Like, you try getting him straight, he just falls. The, they are so flimsy and they move around so easily that they just do not support his weight whatsoever. You have to so to get him to stand. I, I can't even. I can't even do it, guys. Like, look at this. I shouldn't have this much trouble trying to stand a damn figure. That I paid money for. I shouldn't have that much trouble. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, I forgot to talk about the wrists. They rotate. And boy, do they hinge in every freaking direction. Like, ugh. That is another thing. They're super loose. So the more you try to hinge it, the more you try to play with it, it just keeps, it just keeps falling off. It just keeps falling off. <sighs> other side is not as bad but yeah very annoying and oh, oh man I, I can't even with this guy I, I'm gonna be really upfront and really really honest with you guys I'm having a really hard time so uh, I'm having a really hard time supporting this line I, I, I love Power Rangers I'm a huge fan of Power Rangers and when they announced that they were gonna be doing a line with the Build-A-Figure Megazord. Oh yeah, he also comes with a Megazord arm. But those Megazord figures suck anyway. So who cares? But I'll show you the arm. Because I'm probably not going to review the damn Megazord. Because it's shit. Unless that's something you guys want to see. If you guys want to see that, tell me in the comments. I'll review it when it's completed. There's the arm. Whatever. Who gives? Who cares? I'm telling you. It's getting so hard to support this line. If you keep giving us shit like this, I'm sorry, but this is shit. And the problem is all the male rangers share the same body mold, same sculpt. So if you are making the newer ones shitty like this, now I have the rest of the wave. I have the green zeo ranger. I have the gold ranger. I have the blue dino fender. I haven't opened them any yet. If they are better than this and they had fixed those problems, 
then I will take that as a retraction and I will take it back. But other than that, soft joints, soft plastic, you can't hold this damn weight, you can't stand up. This is stupid. Who thought this was a good idea? I'm, I'm sorry. Who thought that was a good idea? I feel like I want to say pick this figure up because I'm curious. I want to know if you guys have this figure and if it's the same thing. I, I don't remember my Space Rangers being this bad and I didn't get any of the Mighty Morphin ones because I have all the SHF Mighty Morphin ones. So I didn't mess with any of those. I, I don't remember my Space Rangers or my Ninja Storm Rangers being this bad. But yeah, very, very disappointed. Very disappointed in this figure. And maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know, but I feel like it's not just a bad figure, but it's the gimmicks. Like the stupid holster. Dumb idea. Dumbest idea I've ever seen. And soft joints. Just bad. Just bad, guys. So let me, let me know in the comments if you have this figure. If it shares some of these issues, I would love to know. I, I don't want this line to go away. And I don't want this line to be bad. Because I'm, I'm really loving that we're getting all these different rangers and all these different seasons are represented. I just love that my display of Power Rangers is slowly accumulating more and more Rangers and more and more complete teams. So I really love that. I don't want to see this line go away, but it's going to be harder and harder to support if you keep giving us dumb holsters and soft joints. But uh, that, that is it, guys. That's That's my opinions. Like I said, when I review the other ones, if they don't share those issues then okay i'll okay but as far as this figure goes this is the one i got sucks just bad and uh that that's that guys I, i'm just there's nothing else i can say i'm just repeating myself so guys thank you again for watching i'm sorry this was a bit of a negative review but i just really want to say thank you again for all your support I really could not do this without you guys, so thank you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I am bringing you a new video every Monday through Friday, and you do not want to miss any of those, or maybe you do, I don't really know. I hope you don't. I hope you don't. Please also like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Tell me what you think of the figure. Give me some feedback, anything. Love hearing from it. Check out the Sanctuary page on Facebook and also the Sanctuary podcast every Friday night on YouTube. I uh, don't know what time zone you are in, but yeah, uh, it, it's going to be Friday. Anyway, regardless of what time it is for you, it's a different time for me. It's going to be on Friday. Check out my social media links. I will leave them all in the description so you can follow me there if you so feel fit. And that is it. Thank you again. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you next time with another figure and a hopefully better figure review and bye.